salami lid. Go ahead, say it with your chest. The salami. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another Nerdiversal video. This time it's another ramen vlog. So I mentioned in another one of my videos that my city doesn't have a whole lot to offer in terms of like good soup, good ramen. But I'm going to be taking you guys through the places that are my personal favorite, hopefully in like a video series kind of deal. And none of them are as good as San Francisco or LA, but they are as good as it gets here in the valley. You know, I can't, I can't exactly go to San Francisco and LA like every week. I deal with what I have. So we're going to be taking you to Ramen Hayashi, which is one of my favorite places, and let's go! So we just ordered, I got the tonkatsu ramen and he got the yaki ramen, so like fried, pan fried noodles kind of thing. We also got a takoyaki just because Cisco really likes it a lot, so now we're kind of just waiting for our food, but the ambiance here is very nice, it's very cool. So yeah, now we just wait. So here we got the takoyaki and then we got my tonkatsu ramen looking so fucking fire. I actually started really liking woodier mushrooms and then here the yaki udon that he got, so just like a plate of like fried noodles, chicken. Um, veggies and all that kind of stuff. So let's dig in. So the noodles themselves, they're like thin, but they're like super, like they got a bounce to it. And they really, really hold the broth really, really well. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the broth here. Just do a little taste test. It's super duper like cloudy and milky like a good tonkotsu is. Oh, let's try it. Honestly, this is a lot better than the last ones I've had. Like it's got enough salt, it's got enough flavor. It's not like super pungent. Not like anything crazy, but this is actually pretty good. This is better than last time. Like I think if we're comparing it to like San Francisco and LA level of ramen, I think this is good for the valley and not compared to those. But I don't know. It's better than last time and that's kind of like what's skewing my thing right here now. And then we got some nice bamboo shoots here. Super crunchy and delicious. Now let's try this freaking soft and tender chashu. This is the only place in the valley that torches their meat. So this is pretty damn good. Oh hell yeah, that's hella tender, it's super sweet. Whatever they soak the eggs in, I think they also soak the chashu and the, the bamboo in, and by God, did that was that a good idea, because it's all very sweet and very, very good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, eat this uninterrupted. it all so here's my food in a bowl because we waste absolutely nothing in this house hello studious <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so here's my final review of the ramen. I think what this place does really well is their toppings. It's pretty good chashu and it stands out because of the charring on the outside that you don't really see here in the valley. And whatever they marinate their eggs in is pretty good. It's subtle, but it's very delicious. And their water mushrooms are also really well prepared since they don't have or add like a funky flavor to the broth like some places do. Their broth was pretty good this time. It had enough salt, it had a pretty good pork flavor. It's just that most times when we come here, it's a little bit plain. Even their spicy miso soup I had here a few times ago wasn't really salty salty enough which is kind of crazy to me because miso itself is very salty and if you're making it spicy you're kind of just adding even more stuff which gives even more flavor so it was really weird to me that it didn't really have much flavor back then I might have caught them on a good day or maybe they've just improved the recipe since my last visit but that's kind of my biggest complaint they also have a pretty big menu which is sometimes an indication that their broth has shortcuts taken in it to compensate for the kitchen space but that's not always a thing. It's kind of just what I've heard from ramen experts and like people who make ramen for a living. Overall I think they have really nice ambience, it's a pretty chill place to have some ramen and a couple drinks if you want. It's not the most expensive, it's about $13 a bowl where I've seen some in my city go for about $16 but I've also seen some ramens here go for about $10 to $11 so about middle range in pricing. I know they're a lot cheaper in Japan but since we don't really have a 
whole lot of ramen here and it's not really our thing they kind of upcharge on it a little bit so for my final rating i'd rate this place a seven on my ramen scale which might be a little bit liberal but i love ramen a lot i'm kind of comparing it to the really good ramens that i've had here in california like meno and marufuku and to me those are tens and unless i ever try ramen that's 10 times better than that which i might if i ever go to japan or if i ever maybe go to new york which i hear is really good but for now the scale stands at an a and maybe i'll re-rate it if i ever find ramen really good all right guys that's all for today's video if you guys like ramen content like this i've got a couple more on my channel for you to check out hope you guys subscribe for more see you guys later bye